This is lucky number 13 of The Walking Dead. Mm. After the thrill ride that was the last part, full of fun, laughter, nothing bad happening, <laughs> we are continuing our train journey to Savannah. Yeah. With absolutely no casualties to report. Yep. We did, we did, we did, we did get in a bar though, so we... Yeah. Let's hope his his bodily uh, inspiration can can help us through the stead for his, his travel time. God flipping damn it! You know, see, like swear, like who cares? We're in the apocalypse. Hey, how you doing? What would you put in the swear jar in this case? Ammunition. What reason you had for doing it? No reason to go and tell my girl she's gonna end up dead. I know that you don't have a goddamn plan. We get to Savannah and then what? Well, we did, but. Very people, part of the plan are dead now, so you're gonna like, or, and or. Yeah, but, yeah, but are, are, are dead or gonna be a soonish? Hypothetically, be sure to use a weapon and for crime, and he cut that hair. Fast forward a couple of seasons, <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's a little girl, and she'll die a little girl if you treat her like one. You gotta consider her a living person. That's it. You're either living or you're not. You ain't little, you ain't a girl, you ain't a boy, you ain't strong or smart. You're alive, you're, you're a person. You gotta run around with a mop that's gonna act like Velcro to any hand swinging its way. I sure, oh, yeah. Some scissors in my pack, and take care of that hair before Walker does it for you. <coughs> and then show her how to use a gun, because like it or not, that's what saves your life from here on out. And bloody trick and control, also bleaking bloody trick and control as well. But too many people have died already. They have. And seeing another little girl die might be perfect for you, my man. I hear you. A haircut and a gun. Good advice. It's something. Hmm. If you ain't gonna give her a gun, I'll just give her a baseball bat. Yeah, something blunt at least. So these are these dudes impact you kinda. Fourteen years now. Sorry to hear that. No one to blame. In forty nine, she looks quite old as well, does it? Uh that way. I mean when we get to Savannah. I got a few ideas. We'll have a talk when we get there about whether or not you folks. So I'm wondering if you ever actually make it to Savannah, or was that just like something happened on the way there? You're homeless. Does it? Eh, suppose. That's, 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 that's my question. Or my hypothetical. I'm wondering, do we make it there, or is something going to happen? This is, this is a game where shit might happen. I don't know. How would I know? That's You're a liar. That's yeah, bullshit, you know, you know it. No. Lucky's the kind of guy who reads ahead into TV guides. <laughs> yeah. TV guy's still relevant. Hmm? Yeah. Be safe up here. You betcha. Hey. Hey. It'll be good to get to the water. <laughs> Are there any maps up here? I don't know. I just uh, want to look over one real clear so she has a lay of the land. Once we get to Savannah, mind if I get by you for a second, kid? Can you just leave me alone? I, I just, I, I just, let me just, let me just reach, reach, reach over, Kenny. Let me reach it. Oh, oh. <laughs> Nothing's ever simple around here. Yeah. Oh. Yes, good dealing, dealing with your wife, your wife's suicide and your son's zombification slash. Yeah, that, that, cause that's simple. It's a fifth of whiskey. It's a fifth of whiskey. 
You want some clementine? And there's a joke in poor taste. Uh, let's go cut Ben's hair. Yeah. No. <laughs> Not My you, Ben. Long ben, enough ben. to do the emo look again. <laughs> <laughs> Wrong bit. Thank God Lee is in the lightweights. Anybody in there want to share a drink? You never know. Well, Bill. Just had one little swig. It's called aged. Whiskey. Yeah, that is right. <laughs> Look at the map. And yoink. Yoink. And into the map, okay, it goes. Mission accomplished. Irish base pockets. Yeah. Was me we the ones giving the bandits supplies. What? You fucking Nimrod. Give me one good reason why I don't have your head under these tracks. I could kill. <laughs> I I nobody can see us. I could toss you over right now and be done with it. No, I please, please. Why should I? I wish it was an option. I didn't know what to do. Please, please. I had to kill someone. I bet you did. Okay, so he so he's the one who's who Okay. <sighs> Hmm. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Don't worry, sweetheart. Okay. What should we do? Well, we'll figure out a plan for when we get to For starters, I want you to kill Ben. What are you um, doing? No one would suspect you, Clementine. <laughs> so we're going to teach you how to use a gun. <laughs> Thankfully, we have a moving target, you learn. You need to know how to protect yourself. Like hiding or running away? Got it. I mean, with one of these. First, don't be afraid of it. It's just a thing. Take it. But know where your finger is all the time. And don't put it on the trigger unless you want to hurt somebody. Okay. Okay. See? Not In fact, that a lot of people forget a fact. Right Nobody has fucking trigger control ever for some reason, unless you like, unless you know it. I blame all the movies. Yeah. Because <laughs> the amount of time people people miss fuck because they're being on the trigger, you think you're an idiot. Do that. 
Okay. It will increase your kill streak. Still kill streak, Clementine. Ugh. AC-130 coming in. Recoil. Do I have to? Yeah, you do. I'm done with you, Clementine. You're going to be a trained assassin. Stick to the right. Any lower? I got it. Excellent. Good shot. <laughs> Hope these balls are Damn empty. Think yeah. I'd... Didn't think I'd fi find uh, accurate shooting lessons in uh, The Walking Dead of all places. Hey, at least we don't have to find the bottles this time. Yeah. Right, right, Max. <laughs> Where are you getting all these <laughs> bottles from? Wink. They're too precious to be to be used as a shooting fodder. I was holding my breath when the gun didn't shake so much. See, you did good. They're not walkers, though. No, far from it. But you know how these things work now. I'll graduate you to walkers one day. Hmm. Okay, I feel good. Not so scary, huh? They might be sooner or later, might be though, so. Okay, step one. Train her to be a killer. Hi. Step two, give her a makeover. Well, you're probably not gonna learn step three, uh... Oh, what step, step four, Sur profit. Survivor. It's not safe. That's not nice. What? Are you saying it smells? No. Because it does. We need to trim it. Just the trim, right? I need to cut it short enough. Um, oh, here's a bus cut. Okay. Mind if we do this now? I guess not. Don't mow. It's a good thing. <laughs> do you know how to do this? I have no idea what I'm doing. Well, it can't be that hard. Let's see. I just cut off the hair here, and oh, there we go. I've cut off, cut off your hair. I'm a genius. Do I'm a professional and... barber oh, now. I've cut your head off. Oh shit! People ever go to jail when they shouldn't? All the time. Okay. I think I'm about done. That's when you got a cool soul. <laughs> Here, I have some hair thingies. You do? Oh, hair yeah, bubbles. Bailey gave them to me for sleeping. There. All set. Does it look dumb? <laughs> Uh, I am I am a professional barber. Fine work, Lee. Thank you. Hey, Clem. Hi. I want to talk about Savannah. Me too. And what we're gonna do when we get there? They don't know what to expect. The city could be bad or totally under control. The thing is, hmm. you and I were a team, you know. And a team needs a plan. Yeah. Aside from everyone else, when this train stops, you and I should know exactly what we're doing. A plan. I like it. 
So here's what I'm thinking. We ditch everyone. We sacrifice we Ben to the wind. We ditch everyone, we find a sailboat <laughs> yeah. and go to Florida Keys. The wind is going to catch up to us eventually. It might as well be Ben to take the wind. We'll come right through town if there's nothing on the tracks to hold us up. I'm gonna want to look for a boat here, I imagine. And from there, we've got all the savannah to the southwest of us. And we've got a good chunk of savannah here. What do you think? They always stay in the same place when they go there. It's, uh... Hmm. Hmm. Hey, don't worry. We'll figure it out. Have you ever been there? Once. Well, I'll think about it. There's a lot of hotels on here, but read this map and maybe it'll jog your memory. I need that really tasty dessert. It's called the M M something Mar. Is this it? The Marsh House? Yes, that's it. Well, we'll head there. Yes. Do you think we have a good plan? I think it's very. Do you think we're gonna find him? Maybe. Can I call my parents? No. You know. Are they good people? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> And you're a good little chef. Thanks. I guess we should see how far. Oh shit! Hold on, everybody! Oh no. Oh no. Well, well, but it hits. And or not hits. Another train. Ah. <sighs> Oh! Oh, yeah, you don't want to hit that. Swear! Shut up! Maybe we could walk? That's fucking stupid, Bill. I'm just saying. Hmm. I don't know. I oh, what are you waiting for? Start walking, kid. We'll be right behind you. Lead the way. Get going. Screaming like that, you're gonna get your face chewed off. You guys gonna be trouble? Because we could have just kept walking. Define trouble. Could be. <laughs> who are you? Two people who have a strategic position on you. Come on, hun. Let's get these guys. Fair. We'll see. You guys got a problem with your train? <laughs> yeah. You're standing right in front of it. Dude, it's a wreck. It's not so bad from up here. Send your buddy up to have a look. Anything goes sideways up there. We won't let them escape. So I'm looking at I'm gonna yeah, like is how photo is tank is still is I'm wondering. Uh. Yeah, it also the depends on how fresh the gas is. Murderers or thieves. I guess you'll have to find out. Hmm. So wondering, wondering is like if you were to I guess sort of poke a hole in and make the oil all the oil in the gallon shit. I think make the train go. Chris, what's the deal with the train? We're driving it. Oh man. Hey, I'm not gonna bullshit you. Our group is a little fucked right now. We had a fight victim, then his mom took a life. Before that, it's just. It's okay. Was it? Was it ERS? Is oh, that say? God damn! You guys have a kid. What are you doing up here? I don't like the look on his face with that. Shit! What's your name? Clementine. Oh, so he gets to swear. Well, this is great. See? Things are looking up. <laughs> You're not her dad. He down there? It's that obvious? To me. Uh, no, he's not down there. Oh. Huh. What's your story? I came across Clementine alone. First day all of this happened. 
We've been together ever since. Mm. And everybody down there, they're cool. <coughs> they're somewhat uh, debatable. Ben's young and stupid, mm. and I think harmless. The first two things you said don't really go with the third. I know. You just have to keep an eye on her. No sweat. It's been rough for everybody down there. I'm sure you can say the same. We're sorry for anything that's happened to you guys. This train was awesome, though. A tank is your real problem. We'll help you with it, but if we see anything we don't like, we're moving on down the road. Alone. We'd appreciate the help. You can't just blast through it, I guess? If you could get it down, the rest would probably be pretty easy. We'll start there. We'll come down and settle in and see if we can help. Hmm. Yeah, so, yeah. Uh, new people have joined the party. So what are, what are their RPG classes? Not big on welcomes. Uh, Omid has a sense of humor. Hmm. That's all I've got. Say hi and say your train is pretty cool. But we are not looking for friends. <laughs> we could help you guys, though. Maybe. The plan is to cut that tanker down and be on our way. Seems like plan enough. I swear I've heard Omid's voice before. I'll get to know the girl for a minute, if you don't mind. And why don't I show you how this thing works? Something happens. Really, kid? You look at that Nick from Left 4 Dead? Someone might want to have a look Hang on, let's... Let's Owen this. Thomas. How have you two made it this far? Seem dangerously normal. Uh, Krista doesn't let us join group, and I'm a fucking scrap. They got the feeling she didn't save from a walk from left at all. I saved her ass hundreds, tens, sometimes. Duh. <laughs> How long since you've been home? Like six months. We were on the road for a while, and then, you know, that's rough. <laughs> her cat is gonna be pissed. <laughs> Your cat. Learning the ropes can't be too hard, right? There are a lot of levers I can't wait to use. I said if something were to happen to me, maybe we can drive and shift. We'll see. Talk to you later. Kane looks so difficult he does. Well, yeah. He is. I remember we could have had him shoot Duck. Hmm. Oh, really? Alternatively, he we could have just left Duck to turn. It's busted, but it means something to me. Oh, I understand. Careful, she's a crack shot now. You got this girl shooting guns? Look, I don't need to. Let yeah, you want to see? You are getting one. It's good. <laughs> get to take care of yourself. Where are you from? San Francisco. Hmm. Well, he got a little more than he bargained for, huh? Yeah, you think? The hell is in the Civil War history anyway, other than old white guys. Wonderful. You two be quick as thieves. Yeah. <laughs> Not sure how we'll get that tank down. Maybe ask Omid. He likes to break things. Fair enough. What were you two arguing about when I was coming up the ladder? Nothing. If you're gonna be around for a while, be good to know what baggage you got. Yeah. And maybe we won't be around for a while. I'll be about baggage. Alright, take the take the hike right now, bitch. <coughs> I don't like your attitude. I mean, last time someone went a bit loop be um they shot one of the other people there, that means time to go for to go, go take a walk. Set off any alarm bells. Not yet. She's very thorough. That's what I like to hear. Shooter. Who said that? Like the new girl? I do. Make it a double kill. So cute too. Like you said. Hmm. Yeah. All right. Come on. Primenson and I are checking out this train station. All right. Hustle over if you hear anything. I wonder what they're next on. I guess. Yeah. Next part will be the the end of episode three. Ooh.